So, so that question really can't arise. Uh, uh, and I also mentioned that in practice, once uh, once the AOs pick up the global balance sheet, we have not really seen any cases where they make any further disallowance. This is bad enough because SSA is taxed uh, the P exemption denied, and yes, to be based on global income. Uh, and further disallowances are normally we have not seen any further disallowance having been made. Uh, having said this, if one really uh, goes to examine it in detail and to see any legal precedent, there is some case law in slightly different context. The main question is that once the income is estimated, so to say, outside the computation provisions, then can you still apply any individual disallowance? Because in the whole section 28 to 37 uh, or 43b series will come. Here, of course, 40a is there, then you've got 36.15a, you've got 43b, and the whole list of disallowances. You've got 48.3 and so on. So can they apply? Now, uh, I've checked and there are some mixed rulings on this. There is one case uh, uh, one case of, of Banwari Lal Bansidhar of Allahabad High Court, where they have said that once you make a proportionate disallowance, a proportionate, proportionate tax, estimated tax, then that includes the entire computation of income and no further computation can be done. That is the end of it. So here they said that section 40A3 disallowance for cash payment cannot be made once you have rejected the books of account and applied estimated gross profit. That's one case. Then there's another case uh, of indirect constructions of, uh, of AP High Court, which also says that once you estimate the profit, then there's no further specific disallowance. But in yet a third case of Armour Chemicals of Mumbai Tribunal, what the tribunal said was that it depends on the nature of the disallowance. If it's a factual disallowance, you can't make it because that, that's part of the profit estimation. But if it's a legal disallowance, then the disallowance you would have made even if you had not estimated the profits. Even suppose you accepted the accounts and gone by the SS computation, still the legal disallowance would have been made. So in Armour Chemicals, what the Mumbai Tribunal said was that in case of estimated profit, you cannot make the 40A3 disallowance because that's a disallowance based on facts. But you can make the 43B disallowance. This puts a new angle, but I think uh, in practice, fortunately, this is not being done. Thank you. Friends, we come to uh, query number 4.1 now. The facts are a Dutch shipping company visited Indian ports seven times during a year. The trips were unscheduled. Rather, they were on as and when required basis to drop off or collect cargo. Article 8A1 of the India Netherlands DTA states that profit from the operation of ships in international traffic shall be taxed in that other state in which the place of effective management of the enterprise is situated. An exception to this general principle is set out in Article 8A2 which states that if the operation of ships in international traffic is